Next, ju let's just go take a look at uh, the desktop tab under display properties and find out a way how to customize our desktop as you can see if you click on the desktop you have a little preview of what your desktop looks like at the moment this is also really the place where you can choose the desktop image that w you wish to display on your desktop and you have multiple options to choose from um, as you can see you can take a li take a little peek on this small monitor on your screen and uh, find out which one you want to apply um, this autumn is one of my favorites as well this is this is some something that I really like one desktop uh, wallpaper that I really like if you click on apply uh, there you go it's just take this out for a second to the right uh, it gives a pretty nice feel to your desktop and make you can easily change the wallpapers that you want uh, to appear want to make appear on your desktop there are quite a few images uh, included within the operating system including an option to choose or remove uh, a background and perhaps just have one color um, displayed on your screen as you can see I can change the different colors that I want to make appear on my screen if I click on apply uh, there you go the option is taken away and I only have a display properties tab whereas the colors uh, the previously the picture that I had is no longer there and if I want that picture to be returned I just click on apply again and that should get back the picture that I wanted on my desktop also you can browse to your own images on the hard drive if you have any saved uh, let's see which one this is uh, it's wallpaper one really nothing uh, to go by but you can if you have downloaded some images from from the internet or you have your own picture perhaps you want to show off your style and glamour you can display it on the desktop and um, well make hay while the sun shines best opportunity to show yourself off without many people pointing you out you know also depending on the size of the image that you wish to display you m you have a couple of options to choose from centered uh, tiled or display or stretch for that matter and as you can see in this little preview window on the top each one of these options give you a different look and feel to your windows desktop wallpaper if you choose centered you can see there's a lot of space um, left empty on the sides and this is because this wallpaper does not fit your screen and in order for this to fit your screen you need to choose stretch another option is tile where a small picture well this is a pretty big picture that's why you can only see a branch of a tree uh, but if, if if one picture was just to fit just about this much portion of your screen you would be able to view multiple pictures um, multiple tile as a, as a tiled version of that picture you would be able to view that on your desktop wallpaper uh, you can choose to customize the desktop even further by clicking on to customize desktop and you have various desktop item options uh, that you can choose over here you have the uh, under the general tab uh, you have my documents my computer internet explorer and network places these are some of the options that if you check or uncheck will have those things displayed on your desktop if I was to choose my network places and internet explorer my clicking OK and then apply on the other screen over here would these op options to be available on my desktop uh, these are the icons that you can possibly choose from to display each one of your uh, f each one of your folders suppose I choose on my documents and I want another icon displayed for that uh, these are the two available for the moment if I click on this and click on OK you can see there's a different file folder for my documents if I want to revert back to the old one I click on this one and this should get me back to a simple my documents folder which really is a is a simple version of the my documents folder it, it falls the same for my computer if you click on change icon these are multiple options of icons that you can choose from um, really this is the only one that makes sense or perhaps this one if you click on this one this is what your my computer is going to look like rather than what it does at the moment this although the one that we are using at the moment looks pretty flashy uh, change it back to normal I don't want my boss to get tired of looking at my focus screen um, you have my network places once more if you change icons as you can see there are a lot more options for my network places and uh, really something that comes in handy for you to uh, personalize your desktop screen or icons um, anywhere else 
and then you have the desktop cleanup wizard um, well this really uh, if you have this checked every 60 days the desktop cleanup wizard would clean up all the icons or shortcuts on your desktop that haven't been used for a pretty long time and you have the clean desktop icon as well where you can just click on clean desktop now instead of waiting for the 60 days uh, it really doesn't make sense but a 60 day wizard cleanup is just an automatic update and you can click on clean up desktop icons right now to do that yourself if you click on the web under the web tab you can make your desktop appear to be like a web page uh, like like well basically like a page that appears on the internet so really uh, cl right click or clicking on my current home page suppose I had yahoo.com chosen as my home page that would appear on my desktop screen and I would be able to just click on to it anytime I wanted as a normal desktop page and it would have these icons remaining on the left uh, well really the novelty of um, of a web page desktop wore away a long time ago um, I really don't know anybody who's using it I personally don't but uh, I just wanted to show you guys in case you want to ha have a desktop screen appear uh, well a web page appear as a desktop screen um, on your front uh, particular page so let's just leave things to autumn um, nice and relaxing and uh, what better way to end this movie